this video, I'll show you what Cohen's D is. I'll explain what it measures, and I'll also show you how to calculate it. Cohen's D, also called the standardized mean difference, is one of the most common ways to measure effect size. An effect size tells you how large an effect is. For example, medication A might have a larger effect than medication B. Cohen's D gives you a way to quantify that effect. While a p-value can tell you if there is an effect, it won't tell you how large that effect is. Cohen's D measures the effect size between two means. If this is sample 1 and this is sample 2, Cohen's D gives you that measure of the difference in standard deviations. Here's the Cohen's D formula. You subtract the two means for the two samples and divide it by the pooled standard deviation. I'll show you how to calculate that in just a moment, but a quick note, if you have a small sample, under about 50 items in each, you'll want to use this correction for small samples. If you have a very small sample, a sample size of less than 20, you'll want to use a different measure of effect size called Hedges G. The main difference between the two is that Hedges uses a pooled weighted standard deviation instead of a pooled standard deviation. If you have equal sample sizes, you'll want to use this formula for the pooled standard deviation. If you have unequal sample sizes, the formula is a little more complicated. You're basically adjusting for N, which is the number of items in each sample. N1 would be the items in sample 1, and N2, the number of items in sample 2. For this example, I have 99 items in each group. Those sample sizes are large enough, so I don't need to make any corrections. I can use the shorter formula for the pooled standard error. So my pooled standard error is going to be the two sample standard deviations added together, I'm going to divide by 2 and take the square root. That gives me 0.36. The next step is to put that pooled standard deviation in the denominator of the Cohen's D formula. I'm going to subtract my two means. You'll want to put the larger mean first to end up with a positive value. If you end up with a negative Cohen's D, then just remove that negative sign. When I work out this formula, I get 1.39. So what does that 1.39 tell us? Well, Cohen's D gives you the standard deviations, or z-score. For example, if D is 1, the two groups differ by one standard deviation. A D of 2 would be two standard deviations difference. So our result of 1.39 means there's a difference of 1.39 standard deviations. If you're not very familiar with standard deviations or z-scores, you can use Cohen's original rule of thumb. Generally speaking, if you have a result that's less than 0.2, it's trivial and not significant. Small effects start at 0.2 and go up to 0.5 where it becomes a medium effect, and anything greater than 0.8 is a large effect. This is a rule of thumb, so these aren't set in stone. Finally, you can transform Cohen's D into other measures using these formulas. For Hedges G, N is the number of items in the two equal samples, and DF is degrees of freedom. For the correlation coefficient, you can plug in d, d squared, and add 4. I hope you found the video helpful. Please take a moment to subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next video.